Hello Sheddies and you join me again in my shed. As a lot of you may already know, I've got my workshop at the end of my garden in my shed, which is like a man cave as well. And I'm really interested to see what other people have done. So I've started this series called Sheds. The first one, this is this one, number one, I went to see Brett at Useless to Useful um, channel on YouTube. Uh, a lot of you may already know him already and subscribe, but if you're not, go and subscribe to his channel. He makes a lot of stuff out of recycled materials and he's got a man cave and a workshop. So I went to see him. Fantastic family, a fantastic time, and thanks for your hospitality, Brett. And um, I was walking around and I was filming everything and I was really excited to see everything. And I've got to get used to interviewing people, I think. <laughs> <laughs> because I was sort of away with the fairies sometimes and I'm, I'm talking, but I'm realising that I'm talking on my phone, but the sound quality from Brett isn't probably as good as what it is from my voice because there's a distance between us. But I've got some Rode mics. I've only got one. So I clicked it on me. I st we still won't be able to hear um, Brett talking. So I'm going to get another one of them. When I do on all of these episode two, then we'll have a microphone each. But anyway, enough waffle. Grab yourself some popcorn, put your feet up, grab a cup of tea and get a notepad as well because I can guarantee some ideas that Brett has got in his place that I'm sure you'll steal. So without further ado, here it is. Here I am in the north of England. Let's go meet Brett. What have we got in here? Brett, how are you, mate? <laughs> I know, I know we spoke quite a bit on YouTube already, but oh, let's look at this place. Just check this place out. Brett, great to meet you, mate. <laughs> Do you know what? I love people's reactions when they come in here because I'm used to it. I come in here all the time, all the weekend I spend in here. So the, uh, the reactions are priceless, so thanks for that. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's fantastic. I'm just looking at the old tools there. I mean, there's some age in those. Well, some of them are, are, they, are these passed down or are uh, they? Most of them are from car boot sale. A lot of these I've had probably 30, 40 years. Uh, just the more interesting ones I've just stuck on this towel wall that I've done. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot of them can carry kind of so. I was going to start restoring tools uh, originally, but I, I don't tend to bother now. There's too many people doing that, so yeah, I don't bother. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've done a few myself, actually, um, following like Scout Crafter's channel and uh, what he's done with his uh, tools on his channel there. And I mean, it's amazing what you can do. You get them really shined up, but then you can get this nice patina as well. Yeah. Oh, and there's the coat. Is that coat hanger? You did that for a challenge, didn't you? I did, yeah. Uh, the workshop banter podcast challenge built some out of a pallet so i built that coat stand and then i used uh, some gas canisters and flattened them down and cut these saws ah out. look at those that, that's for the uh, yeah yeah and the stuff on there like that Gu guitar on the ceiling of course obligatory guitar <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i still can't play so if you, if you watch my channel i have had a <laughs> oh have you really yeah yeah again, but, uh, <laughs> i certainly can't play i'd like to yeah yeah uh, but it's something i've never got around to yeah yeah we've still got to get mark if you haven't watched it already the uh, shed space um live stream we do with mark from small witch adventures we still haven't really got him playing the guitar so we'll have to do that at some point yeah. i mean a coffin 
<laughs> I like to call this long term storage. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I use it as storage now. Uh, oh, if we, we do that, so we can look at the nails on the front there, look. Uh, yeah, that's to me. make this silhouette. That's my Tommy Soldier. Cut out with the metal. That, that's all uh, nails from old, old pallets. And you've, there's a theme going on in here, as you probably noticed. Pallet wood everywhere. Just Cheers. <laughs> I, I just use it as storage for now. Cut out, but it um, still works, doesn't it? I mean. Yeah. At some point, it will be some sort of nice storage, probably uh, for a, um, glasses or bottles of whiskey and stuff like that. Yeah. And then eventually, like I said, long-term storage, it might store me. Yeah, that's right. So you never know. <laughs> Union Jack again, of course. <laughs> Covering up a... Pool table. Pool table. Yeah. Handmade. Uh, I, bought the, I bought the pool table because it had a slate bed, but stripped it back to its basics, put it on wheels, and now... I can wheel this anywhere in this shed. So if, if we're not using it, I can just wheel it to the side. And then you've got a table when you need it as a table as well. Table so. when we need it as a table. And then I'll just show you. Just that. Look at that, look. You any good? I'm not bad. I get a lot of practice these days because I spend a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at these. Flagstones. Well, flagstones, not flagstones. Uh, sandstone, is it? It's Indian flagstones, these. Indian flagstones. Th this was actually the garden. So, my garage was there, and there was a wall here, and, and that was my bar originally. And then one day I decided, you know what, let's put a roof between the garage and the conservatory and knock this wall down. So I did that, that. that four years ago. I mean, it looks like it was built as one piece, yeah, yeah. not added to. Oh, this, this five years of development here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This took me yeah, five years. And cost me next to no, to be yeah. fair. Yeah. Uh, I, bet, I bet I ain't got a thousand pounds. Wow, wow, yeah. yeah. And that's including the 150 quid for the wood burner. Um, I think the most expensive, the single most expensive thing here is the resin for the bar top. That, that was 250 quid. And then I think the pool table was 300 pounds, but I stripped that back to its basics and rebuilt it and, and replaved it with the yeah. pine wood. Yeah. The resin as well, I mean, I know it's always, I've never used it, never worked with it. We'll, we'll, we'll come on to that in a minute because yeah. you've sunk a load of nails into that, haven't you, yeah, as well, yeah, yeah. with a unique pattern, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, has resin come down in price now, do you know? Have you dealt with it? That's the only time I've ever used it, to be fair. Really? Um, um, you know, give me a decent result, but I've never, never really, I, I don't, I'm not tight, but I don't like to spend. Money. Yeah. So if I can get away with it, I just use what I've got. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's. I wouldn't go buy uh, a, a pot of resin to do a project with. No. I'd, I'd just use it if I needed to use it like I did. Yeah, exactly. In fact, let's go on to it now. Yeah. Let's have a look. So here's the bar. Bar Brett. Man Cave. Home of the big tool. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this. So it's in the shape of Union it's, Jack. It's Union Jack, yeah. So there's... There's 8,000 nails here. 8,000? Yeah. I know it was a lot. Is that one bar there, yeah? Yeah, 8,000 nails. Wow. And I know because what I did, I measured four inch and top to bottom, counted all the nails in the four inch strip and then just times it. Ah, of course. By the length of the thing. Of so, course. Yeah. And it took me about two weeks. The, the, all the nails are res uh, it's fastened down with um, silicon and then I just poured the resin over the top. Unfortunately, last year, I got a crack down the middle. There, there must have been some sort of sagging. Ah. Uh, so what I need to do is build the sides up and then re-resin the top and just make it a little bit thicker. But yeah, like yeah. I say, I've not got around to that yet. It adds to the rusticness, I think. All this is all out of pallet wood. Um, signs is another thing I like making. Uh, yeah, yeah. All, all the cobbles, these like the pallet blocks that come on pallet wood. Ah, of course. So you put like a bit of a mitre on there and yeah, and then just sanded them down and fit them all on there. The bell. So yeah, last, last orders. Was... Oh, that's loud, isn't it? <laughs> I think the acoustics are quite good in here. Actually. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know, can you see this this branch coming out? Of the, I can. The yeah. Top. I found this on the side at road of the well. Uh, just after, just before I put this bar top in, and I found this, and I thought, oh, that'll be all right if that fits. And anyway, it did it perfect. Just had to drill a hole in the top of the ceiling there, and so it looks like it's coming straight out of the bar. Debarked it, yeah. Debarked it. A skelly bob on there as well. Yeah, a skeleton up there. Just uh, things I find. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, like the uh, Wombles, isn't it? Yeah. I'm the same. I'm the same. I like car boots and looking around car boots. Some one man's rubbish, another man's treasure. Absolutely. And absolutely. helmets must be into bikes. Uh, a friend gave me them. Oh, really? He he, uh, he would be retiring, selling everything, and moving away. I've never ridden a bike in my life, but I thought they looked pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do. Is it there. add to it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that there? Is that, is, that's not a side. Is it a side? That's the yeah, name for that. That, is, that is. Bill Hook. Bill Hook. Yep. And Brookfoot Lane. Found oh. that one day on the, on the road about four o'clock in the morning. Somebody pulled it off and I'm like, ooh. Yeah, I'm having I've that. I've got a place for that. I'm having <laughs> that. <laughs> and uh, if I can, that can. If I can, that can. That, that can. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's the original name for my channel. Ah, yes. Before I changed it to uh, Useless to Useful. And, he, and if you didn't know already, um, Brett's got a YouTube channel called Useless to Useful, of course. Um, weird and wonderful things he makes from here and his workshop by the way we'll come on to that in a moment um, but yeah go and check him out uh, useless to useful so this is actually a garage door this is my garage door yeah and I, I, I was looking at this thinking what is that but that's obviously the electrical mechanism for there so outside is a road running by beautiful part of the world in the north of England if you look down there there's actually I think the river's down there is it Brett yeah, river yeah we'll, canal. we'll have a look at that in a minute uh, sound system, of course. Yeah. Got to have a sound system. Yeah. Fairly loud in here when it gets. Camera. Yeah. 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 Got good neighbours. <laughs> Ain't got any neighbours. Oh, there you go. <laughs> as loud as you can. I've got my neighbours down there at Lockhouse, but they're far enough away. And they're in the 80s, so they're definitely. Oh, really? really? But they're fine. They're yeah, yeah. Lovely people. I mean, look down there. Amazing. And this is roaring away. I was given one, um, a log burner, and it had a crack in the screen, one of the legs missing. I've still got to sort it out, but. What's the, what's, what's the area in here? What's the? Do you know what the square meterage is? Uh, roughly. It's, it's eight meters by six. Eight by six. Yeah. And that, middle of winter, oh, uh, I mean, too hot. It, it was freezing this morning. I yeah. It was frosty this morning. I put that on at uh, quarter to seven this morning. And by half past seven, it's t-shirt. T -shirt, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, it's all free. It's all pallet wood and... You know, logs. I find, I find logs out there in the in the woods and stuff like that. Of course, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's all it's all free heat. Yeah, and a, yeah. a heat generated fan on top. You just stick it on top, don't you? And it just yeah, yeah just circulates it, so. circulates the air. Yeah. Outer wall is not insulated, is it? It's like block work that's been built up. Or uh, well, th this this is a stone garage that's all uh, double skinned stone garage. That that's what it was originally, and then. Not on the this is all insulated above yeah this is the roof yeah flat roof uh, that's just as you see just that one an old patio door and double door. double glazed yeah yeah yep. glazed and then that's that's the same that's just a timber uh, insulated inside double thickness and that's it got you got you I'm, I'm straight into my conservatory in my house there that's ah it. yeah you see yeah yeah straight through tv of course yeah the blue to tv sofas that's a nice sofa for that so, Perfect spot. My dad gave me that this yeah. year. Yeah. Uh, they bought a new sofa. He said, Do you want a sofa? And I'm like, I can't, <laughs> I can't say, say no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know a man that can't say no, and that's me. So, yeah. yeah, I suffer the same problem. I've just I've got no space left anymore, so I, I have to turn the things joy down. Of it is, I can use this space for sort of anything. If I if I want a family space where we all need to sit down, I've got the the space to do it. If I'm having a lads' night and we're playing pool and darts, I can Take the sofas out. Yeah. Move the pool table into the middle so it's easier. Yeah. And it's it's a lad's night. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, so. yeah. And that's the thing of multifunction. Yeah. We have limited space and we do the best we can that's with it, don't we? And then the fairy lights. You always need fairy lights. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, what lights have you got in here? Yeah. Is that all fluorescent? So fluorescent that's, tube. That's the tube. Yeah. Oh, I've got, um, oh come on. There you go. There you go. Party time. Neon. Oh, sorry, on your grid. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And that stuff's amazing. It's the RGB LED stuff because it's got the opaque rubber over the top. It gives it that neon effect. I think there's so many possibilities mm -hmm. for it for making signs and yeah. uh, lighting up in certain areas and get them in any lengths. Boxing? Was you into boxing? I used to, but I went in the army. Uh, did you really? A long time ago, I had, did a bit of boxing in army, but I wasn't that good. Oh, I mean, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, would, I mean, I still go now. I still sort of. Yeah, yeah. Do a bit of training now and yeah, just yeah. to keep fit, really. You know, boxing is one of the best forms of exercise you can do because if you know if 
You do 30 seconds hitting a punch bag as yeah. hard as you can. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, you can barely breathe afterwards. Yeah. That is, I, I, I enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. You know, Jake oh, Paul, yeah. he's fighting Mike Tyson. Fighting Tyson yeah. I mean, yeah. that's a bit of a joke, though, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> I don't know what I think about it. Do you know what? I watch it, but yeah. I don't know what I think about it. Yeah. Um, it's like, you know, Fury and, and Garnu. I know. It takes him 10 rounds, and then last Friday night, Joshua knocks him out. I know. Knocks him on his ass in first round and knocks him out. That's right. In two rounds. I know. It's like, What's, what's going on here? Yeah. But we watch it, don't we? Yeah, yeah. And it's a mismatch, and they're getting paid millions. This is it. Has it, has it gone into more into um, the, the, the circus yeah. rather than a sport now? Yeah. I mean, they're making a load of money. I mean, Mike Tyson, what is it, late 50s? 50, 57. Really? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean, you think that Jake Paul is in his 20s. I think if it were a proper fight, I mean, I don't know. I'd like, I'd like to think Tyson would wipe the floor with him. Uh, yeah. That's what I'd like to think. I was watching, um, Cole Froch does a, oh, yeah, a bit yeah, of a video and he did a video out there saying the last thing to go in a boxer is the punch power. Yeah. Um, obviously, you, how you're going to take a punch is a different story, but it'd be interesting to see anyway. We'll yeah, watch yeah. it anyway and I think that's what it's all about. People will watch it and they'll make a, a shed load of money out of it. Yeah. Pardon we'll the pun. The weekend, <laughs> that's right, that's we'll it. We'll have a few beers and we'll watch it and we'll, we'll have our say. We'll all have our comments afterwards. We'll, we'll want it next one and we'll watch that as well. well more swords. And say up there yeah just i think things i've collected over years you know it's uh, i've got to all my empty bottles up there i don't know if you can cap if you can zoom in on that you might be able to see I, my wife's under instructions never to clean up there yeah because i want all cobwebs which i've got now growing nicely over all my ah of course so, yeah yeah it's a bit of a mrs fabersham thing going on brilliant not that my wife ever cleans up in here oh yeah. no. she's not allowed <laughs> that's <laughs> so, the reason like, don't ever think oh, i'm gonna clean these cobwebs leave I, them i like that leave them yeah yeah, yeah. dead right yeah. i've just noticed on one of them there the uh, red stag dad written on the side of it <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was my uh, Father's Day present last year. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go. Uh, Sentimental I, I, value I as well. Get through these. I like to say the empties. <laughs> I do like a drop of whiskey. Oh yeah, yeah. I, right at the end of the night, I'll have a drop of whiskey. Normally, like a tipple, Southern Comfort yeah, yeah. does me. I like the sweeter. I like the spicy stuff. I like the uh, Tennessee Fire and the Red Stag Jim Beam. Red Stag Jim Bean. Well, yeah. I have to try that yeah. next yeah. time. I'm, uh, in fact, I'm out tonight, but I don't know if I'm... Oh, no, in fact, I will. I'll try it now. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I'll let you know tomorrow how it went. <laughs> if I can yeah. get to the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dartboard, of course. Yeah. Chessboard. Play chess? Yeah, yeah. I used to be pretty good at chess. Uh, one of the things I uh, did as a kid. Yeah, yeah. Pro probably started playing about four years old. Yeah? Yeah, could beat my dad at nine years old. Wow. And, you know, yeah, yeah. I think I've lost to him since. <laughs> been nearly 50 years. Really, yeah. In fact, I have. I tell a lie. When I was about 11 years old, Yeah, yeah. he got me drunk one night. <laughs> and he says, you're not going to bed till I beat you. <laughs> so That's it's, child abuse. It is. If you're watching this, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Floor as well. We didn't come on to that. So... Um, Indian stone is it? Is it? Yeah? Stone, yeah, yeah. And then you put bottle tops in there. Brilliant idea again. And as I say, Brett, you well into sort of your recycling stuff, so pallet wood, nails, bottle tops. And I was looking at this floor here, and it looks like a, a fantastic top end parky floor. Is it? Would you say? But it's not, is it? No, it's not. It's uh, it's pallet wood on its side. So you get the pallets that have got the, what I call them, slider pallets. It's, they've got um, a 3x2. Um, like the runners. The runner. Yeah. So I took all, I mean, I don't even know how many there is here, but that's what these are. Turned on the side and I started at that end and I worked my way at this end, just uh, putting them down, screwing them together, screwing and glued, and then just worked my way this way. Fantastic. One or two years of wear, I think, left in that. <laughs> Well, it's, it's four inch thick, so yeah, you know, not three inch thick, maybe. It's not yeah, going so anywhere. It's going nowhere. Yeah. And it's not been sanded or anything. It's just no, no just literally. And I suppose down. over time, you just wears out, and it yeah. sort of smooths it out anyway. Yeah. Now I know about this, and I don't know if anyone's seen Brett's channel, and you might know about this as well. What's inside this uh, log door or log stack door? <laughs> log stack door. Look at that, a fridge. What else? <laughs> Brilliant. And then around this corner here, if you see uh, Brett's channel, if you're caught short... I'll put this light on. <laughs> the world's smallest urinal. <laughs> I think 
every when Brett put this video out, I thought every shed needs one, and he's plumbed it in. Look, so you got your water supply, you got your flusher, flusher mechanism, and it's made out of. It's uh, an old aluminium uh, nos. They call them nos canisters. It's uh, nitrous oxide canisters. I've, I've got I've got about 150 of them that yeah. I keep, keep making things out of. That. People dumping them everywhere. I take yeah, it. Yeah. They used to be on the streets all over the places. Yeah. The scrap men are picking up now. So yeah. There's not so many about because they're solid aluminium, so they're worth seventy pence each in scrap value. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You, you don't see any. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I, w I had about thirty left. And uh, I put an advert on Facebook Marketplace. Has anybody got any of these? Because I didn't want to run out of them. And uh, I had, I could have had a thousand within a week, but I actually bought a hundred off a guy, and I paid a pound each for them. So I spent hundred quid on, on wow. hundred of those. Wow! Just so I didn't run out. But you're finding ma many projects to use them on, aren't you? I mean, yeah, yeah. I know you did one wind chimes. Was it? You did wind chimes. Yeah. That was the first thing I made. Was some wind chimes. I've made all sorts now. So that was the last thing I made. I've made. Uh, Bin liner dispensers. Um, I made a throat plate for my bandsaw out of. Ah, of yeah. Them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've actually made you a present, Rob. And you no. <laughs> really? Well, I bought you a present as well, actually. So. It's uh, a glove dispenser. Oh, is that mine? Yeah. Oh, look at that. A pack of gloves there to go with it. Oh, my <laughs> God, mate. That's a fantastic. Brilliant. That is. Thanks, bud. <laughs> you put your gloves in and you just pull them out. Wow, that'll go pride of place on my uh, tool wall. Even the gloves as well. Yeah, Brilliant, mate. Oh, that's much appreciated. Yeah. Really is, Brett. Thanks so much for that. I didn't actually realise so I picked them up, but the size small, but I've tried them on this morning. Uh, right, it's all right, yeah. So they should be okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'll stretch them on. They'll be all right. But, uh, oh, brilliant. You're a star. Absolute star. So you'll see a lot more blue gloves on my channel now, <laughs> rather than black ones. I don't tend to wear gloves very often, but it would always be because... I could never find them. They were always in a drawer. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And my idea is, if you've got a place for somewhere and you know where it is and it's accessible, yeah. you use it a lot. More. Yeah, yeah, of course. So that's why I sort of designed and built that. That will be right in the middle of my tool, right in the centre. So literally stuff them in the top and then just pull them out as you need them. Brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Really appreciate that, mate. Thanks no a lot. Problem. That is made out of leather and it's uh, from an old sofa. Oh, so, so you, oh, right, got three, you. Three old sofas, actually. A brown one, a white one and a grey uh, leather sofa. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so effective. You go into high-end art studio, you're paying thousands of pounds for something oh. like that, aren't you? For something like an afternoon or a day's work and you put a glass top on it, yeah. make it into a coffee table, whatever. And if you, if you see anything in here on this um, in this man cave, put a comment below because I'm sure Brett will jump onto the channel oh, and answer all your questions. Just put it, uh, titling it with Brett mm -hmm. and then I'm sure J Brett will jump on and uh, answer your questions. What's that? This. That is something. Is, is it secret or? Uh... <laughs> That's for the baddies. <laughs> In his hand there. <laughs> a it's weapon. Just, uh, Look at that. It was meant to be a garden bar. Uh, I made it for Sunday, uh, but he didn't have anywhere to put it. He mentioned it one night yeah. uh, as we were out. I said, oh, I could do one of them garden bars. Have you seen one? So I thought, oh, I'll make him one. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and when I, when I said, right, I've got that garden bar for you if you want it, it's like, oh, I, I didn't mean make it. You can have it or not have it. I'll yeah, yeah. Tool chest. I said, well, I've nowhere to put one. I said, oh, don't worry about it. So that's, it, that's, it. So that's your essentials then? That's the essential <laughs> stuff as you need it. You've got your yeah, workshop, yeah. but that's workshop like your toolbox. There, and these are just some handy tools that I have. There, yeah, that's a cosh there. Yeah, that's what you need. You need that in your shed. You the baddies get in. <laughs> that's right, yeah, get them out. Ring the bell and whack You're bored. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, obviously, old pallet wood again. Yeah, old pallet wood. Yeah. Old wardrobe handles. I've used the same yeah. handles, you yeah. know, as um, yeah. a uh, tool rack. I've got yeah. some long ones, you know, the long. Uh, anyway, I hang my tools over it, but yeah. Good reuse of something again. Perfect, exactly where you need it. Bottle tops, Yeah. ready for the next part of the floor. You flip your top off, drop straight in there. Ah, and see. I use these bottle tops uh, for something else. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's always a use. It's not always a use. Do you collect bottles as well, or uh, you haven't found a use for them yet? Only, only my whiskey bottles. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm thinking when I've collected enough of them whiskey bottles, I'm possibly going to make uh, a light with... Uh, like a hanging light but using I've bottles. seen it done yeah I've yeah seen done, so. yeah I've seen a way you can chop the bottom off as well is it you 
you, you, it's like a jig you set up and it oh, scores along yeah, the bottom. Yeah. Do you put it in hot water and then, then cold, then cold and, something, and it breaks off the bottom? Yeah, I've seen it done. There's plenty of YouTube videos showing how to do it, but yeah, that's something I'm gonna have a go yeah, 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 defo. Yeah, I thought about doing the same actually. Had a bit of a dabble with chain, chain mail there as well. Ah. So what I eventually want to do with this is I want to make some curtains for me. I would see around the, 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 right. the window there. Um, so how, how is that? I'm just thinking, how is that made? <laughs> Check it out. It's, it's, um, ah. you, get, you get the wire. Yeah. You get a dowel. And yeah. You, set the drill going in yeah. the dowel yeah. it wind it round so what you end up is like a spring yeah and then you cut each one off uh, and then you start making your chain got it, got it. There's, there's a lot of YouTube channels uh, for tutorials about that as well yeah 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 I never even thought of doing something like that but it's any, endless uses of these as well oh, you could put them outside if you had the stainless steel ones yeah. and are they, these aren't stainless steel are they no uh, no they would no, get the coated no, aren't they yeah, plated coated. but yeah stainless steel ones you could have them outside but i was just thinking that you could have it as like a lampshade as well i suppose couldn't you make a frame and hang it yeah, yeah. it is red hot in here <laughs> i'm feeling it now i've got my coat on it yeah it, and what is it outside probably about today it's not too bad actually the sun was out earlier yeah it's, not too bad. Yeah, it's about, about 10 degrees so you never thought that Gary's door was there, and then here we go. Do, 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 do. Brilliant. No, nah, that'll do. Don't get, get the idea. Electrically operated. And I think that's brilliant because you want to get stuff in here. You can get sofas in here or people in here, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, you, you said that when you have that door open, sometimes people are passing by and uh, yeah, all the time. wanting to come in. I've got my music on. I've got my door open because I'm doing things. Because yeah. there's, there's a canal at that side, so... We get a lot of walkers going up and down the canal, and then we get people walking past here. Yeah. And inevitably, they, they do say something. Ooh, ooh, that looks interesting. That yeah. looks interesting. And I say, oh, come in and have a look. Yeah, yeah. Because I like to get people's reactions. Yeah, yeah, of you know, course. Because I, like, I get used to it, so I like to see what people think about it. Of course, yeah. And, and then you get talking, and they tell you things they've done. Yeah. Um, I had an old bloke uh, the other day. In fact, it's two weeks ago, and he came past. He was 78, and he'd just been on the canal. And uh, he said to me, I said, oh, I said, I'll come in and have a look, his name O'Brien. And he showed me, and he had a ring on his finger that he made when he was an apprentice at 15 years old. No. He made it out of an old nut. Yeah. And it's been on his finger 60 years. Oh, my God. And I'm like, that's the kind of, I wouldn't have known that. I'd have never no. had that bloke. If I'd have had my door open and had this, I would have never known that. And I it, think that's what life's all about. And what, it went in here probably an hour, made him a cup of coffee, and we just sat and chatted. Well, this is, this is the thing, isn't it? We, some people don't even know their neighbours and what their neighbours. They might have the same interests, but no one speaks anymore. No one, the neighbourly community thing. But things like this draw people together. Yeah. And this is what's great. I, I've always said the same as, as well on when we do Shed Space. With all the YouTubers, it's the sharing of experiences and taking ideas and stealing ideas. So you'll see some in here. And it's worth just taking note of anything you want to share yourself or uh take on and expand on an idea and change it make your own urinal in your shed of course uh there's loads of things that I mean, just speaking make, to people you can make you... them urinals out of anything yeah of course you know, old plastic cartons yeah yeah you know, yeah it, it's just so happens that i like making things out of these aluminium canisters and yeah sort of let itself as a, as, a, as a good little project for them canisters yeah you can make them out of old course you know well that's the th tub. i think that's the sort of thing you do isn't it you find some <laughs> material yeah what can I make yeah, out of that? Yeah. Rather than thinking of something and then going and finding and paying for the material. Yeah, exactly. uh, you know, don't know what's going to come along next, I suppose. You, know, you can find something in the street or something down a cold boot and you think, oh, I'll use that or whatever. Just something else. This is another thing I made out of these canisters. It's my boot polish cleaning kit. So I've got polish. Look at that. In there. I've got my rags in there. Brilliant. Proper industrial, retro. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. And they'll last forever. 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 And I know where they are. And yes. And that's the thing. You know, if you know where someone is, you'll go to it and you'll use it. Of course. If you've got to go find it, you won't be bothered. And, and this is why you, I used to end up with duplicates of tools everywhere. Because yeah. you think, oh, where is it? Where? Until I stored everything. Yeah. Exactly. That saying is like, bad workman blames his tools. I think a good workman knows where his tools are. Yeah. It's, absolutely. It makes the job easier to do if you can put your hands on this. Of course. Shall we go and have a look at your workshop? Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Let's go. Uh, Quick interruption. Giving me a thumbs up really helps me out. Cheers. 
No, it looks full. I, you know, I keep it like this purposely. Yes. When I open, because I live on a main road, when I open it, I don't want people to see me. So all they see is that. So it's, yeah. It's a scruffy garage. It's not yeah. worth bothering. With. Yeah. And this is when it opens up. Look at this. More pallet wood. The ultimate workshop. Canisters over there. You've not long done this place up, have you? It was last six know, months did, or so. Did, yeah, I've been at Christmas because uh, it were always just dumping around. I used to use that as my workshop yeah. in the garage. Yeah. And then I thought, right, it needs to do a bit of time in here, organise it, get rid of all the stuff. Because what happened, though, because of the job I do, people throwing things away. And I'm yeah. Like, that can't be thrown away. Yeah, yeah. That's going on in my garage. Yeah, dead right. And after 20 years of that, it's like you you get immune to it. It's yeah. Like throwing that away. Yeah. yeah right. Throw it and skip then because yeah. it's not it's too good to throw away. But I ain't got the time or the inclination or the patience to do anything with it these days. Yeah. And to be clear, you um, it's not office furniture, isn't it? Office furniture. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've done all sorts. I've done house moves. Oh really? So uh, yeah. oh, it's, it's okay. endless. Just done all sorts. And I suppose it, it tears you apart when you see something thrown away and think oh, the so things I could yeah. use, make that out of. But yeah. we've only got a limited amount of space and uh, and, what and can we do? It's so easy to fill it up and then you can't move and then you can't be bothered doing stuff. Of course. And so it's like I try and keep this, although when I'm doing a project, I get in the right mess. Yeah. You know, especially if I'm doing wood because I'll, I'll put stuff down and I'll, I'll move stuff all over the place. So I've had to tidy up for the last couple of weeks and then yeah. I'm ready. To ready. I'm doing another project. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's nothing better than having a clean deck, oh. is there? When you can just walk in and write, what am I doing today? And you've got everything like... It's, it's rarely like that, as we all know. But it, 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 when you get to that point, it's fantastic. So, so what have you got in here? Starting from this corner there. So a pillar drill, yeah? Makes that. Oh, pa my, uh, <laughs> dust mask. Power, no, I was, looking, oh. I was looking at the name on it. Power, Power G, I think it's called. It's Power G. Got that from a clearance. Yeah, some throwing that away. Throwing it away. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> so, chop store station, Mitre Saw. Yeah. Is that DeWalt? Yeah, DeWalt, yeah. That's I know you're big on DeWalt, aren't you? Yeah, I like DeWalt, yeah. That's probably one of the only things I've bought in here. That 220 quid, something like that. Model, is it? Anyone wants to know? It's. Uh, oh, I ain't got my glasses on. Oh, I need to start wearing my glasses. What's the model number? You got, can you read that? DW5772. There we go. There we go. How much is that? 200 quid? About 200 quid, yeah. Yeah. Fix. Happy with it? Fantastic. I did it about three years. Yeah. I ain't even changed the blade yet. Oh, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I, chop all my firewood. I do all my projects for that. All yeah. I chop all my firewood up. It's, it's, so in the box blade with that and it's it's bladed you, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't changed it yet. So you got, a, you got an extraction around there? Or you got a tray? No. Uh, I did have that that catches it. I did yeah. have a hole in the back of there. Yeah. I did have a tray underneath. Yeah. But it didn't do the job. No, so no. I, I always wear my dust mask. Yeah. Uh, and then, then I just hoover it up periodically. Got you. It yeah, that's it. Yeah. And it works. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> storage. That's all storage up the top there. Wooden slats. Yeah. Oh, have you done that then? Have you made like an L, L piece? No. What it is. These are fastened to the rafters. Ah, oh, of course. This is just to join them two. Got you. Yeah, so you go to the rafters. Yeah, yeah. I wonder, where's the hinges? Where's the uh, brackets for them? Yeah, brilliant. Um, so you've got a sander and grinder, work zone. Yeah. That's uh, Aldi, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Facebook Marketplace, 10 quid. Like that. 10, 10, quid. 10 quid. This were given to me. Buffer and uh, wire wheel. Yeah. This, believe it or not, Found it in house clearance. No. Yeah, giving it away. I'll just take it. Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> don't, these sort of things don't come around that often, <laughs> do they? But when they do, I started using that more, more and more. Uh, Clark Metalwork Mineral. Yeah. Really good bit of kit to have. I want. I think they're about two hundred and fifty quid, something like that. Yeah. I wouldn't have gone and bought that. No. Because I think, well, I can do without it. Or maybe I would. I don't. Know. Yeah, yeah. As things progress, you think, oh, I don't smoke i don't go out much no no I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy myself and buy buy a nice tool so. yeah 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 and sometimes you don't know do you until you try a tool and think am i going to get into this and that's probably why it's good to hire tools if, you, if you're unsure about something that's, yeah. i don't know if you can hire laves as much but buy the cheapest one possible if you get an idea that you yeah. like it then spend a little bit more yeah, and sure. uh, yeah go from there yeah. so you've got a sander here vertical sander. and horizontal yeah uh Erbauer. Erbauer, yeah again Stufix, 
couple of hundred quid maybe. Yep. But I've had that five years. Yep. You know, the, the, the belts aren't very expensive, really. Yep. Uh, I've got all yeah i think most of us do i was gonna ask where do you get them from now and i've got for my belt sander get them from amazon and yeah cheapest cheapest by far and various goods from 60 to i think that's 400 that's on there now so yeah yeah and they're not expensive yeah yeah and then a little side wheel at the side there yeah do you ever use that never never no. use that no no yeah. i've only just started. i've got a uh, one inch belt sander and then I've got a little wheel at the side. I, I didn't think I'd use it that much, but I found it, you know, for rounding off edges and small pieces of wood or whatever, it's just handy to have there. Just yeah. don't do it on the wrong side because it shoots up in the air. Right, <laughs> but you yeah. get it on one corner, it's, it's perfect. Fitness planer. Fitness planer. So how do you find that? That, right, so that, that band saw, and this shop sniffle. Oh, here we go. It's, it's going to be the biggest bargain of the day here. Shopsmith lathe. <laughs> You got that hidden well. That's on wheels. So that's yeah. It. But that is uh, a lathe, a pillar drill, a sander. Oh, it's a one of them. Pointer. All in one. It's fantastic. Fantastic. What make is it? Is it e not Shop, e Shopsmith. Shopsmith. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, thickness planer, lathe, bandsaw. Bandsaw. And, and probably a thousand pounds worth of small tools. Uh, really? Planes, Chisels, all sorts. Yeah. Facebook Marketplace, nine hundred pounds. No. For the lot. No. Uh, the guy was his, it was his granddad's, and his granddad had died, and he just wanted rid. Yeah. I had to drive to Hull to get it. Yeah. I Don't matter, does it? Van, Unbelievable. Thinking. I can't say no to this. No, 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 no. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. I mean, how much is that? That's worth. I mean, what's that? I mean, that's that. What's that's. Ah, it's Axminster as well. Yeah. So it's a cast top as well. Yeah. Yeah, you can sand that and put some oil on it, can't you? And get it like. Yeah, I've got, I've got but you oil never oil. get you never get the moisture out of the room though, do you? Yeah. So you've got to. I've got yeah. oil in a can there. That, uh, oh, another canister. There we go. Yeah. Look at so that. Now and again, I just go over it with oil. Yeah, yeah, it works well. Another canister video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, so yeah, that's all. That's all them canisters that we're talking about. Ah, yeah, let's have a look. So, so that's how they come. So you just take the, yeah, the cellophane that, out the that, outside. That's how they come. Yeah. And you just stand an half down there. Cellophane. I didn't see all them up there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's ammunition's yard. <laughs> 130 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, curtain rings. Curtain rings. A million yeah. one uses for those, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Can't throw them away. No, that's Why, it. Why should these? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'll find a use. <laughs> I saw when you were doing your video, you did um, put this cabinet yeah. that side, draw that side and that yeah. side. I think it just gives you, I think you're working it out what's the best way to do it. I think, yeah. did you put the, the I cabinet? All sorts of ways. I did it all sorts of ways and it worked. Because this bench lifts up and I've got the cabinets. I remember now. Two cabinets at the side. You've got the hinges at the back there, yeah? Hing hinges are there. So the whole thing's lift up, but yeah. I've never lifted it up. Right. Uh, because I thought, oh, brilliant, I can lift that up and get to what's underneath, but I've never had to do anything. You just drag it what from I, underneath. What I had on was, I had a piece of 3x2 down here. Yeah. So when I closed the bench down, the 3x2 came down to here and it locked these cabinets. Ah. And the idea was, I'll keep all the power tools in there. I remember you saying now, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But when you've got stuff on it, can you be bothered clearing it? This is it. it open? And it's like, no, I can't. So I took the 3x2 off. Yeah. Basically, that's stayed down ever since. Yeah, yeah. And the cupboards are open. But you future proofed it. You future proofed it. You've got the hinges yeah. on there. If you ever want to do it, it's there in it. Yeah. Plenty of sash clamps, speed clamps. Yeah. Always need them. These Irwin ones, fantastic. I bought a few of them off this guy, and uh, yeah, amazing. What's that? One of my subscribers said, Oh, where can I get some handles for these things? Oh, look at that. Two missing. And I said, I'll give you some. Commitment. Look at that. <laughs> so, and I, mean, I will come across some eventually. Yeah, yeah. I have more chance of coming across some than this guy has. Yeah, yeah. So, this is how you can Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good on you. What, what a gesture. What a gesture. This is my uh, spray booth. So, ah. clip that off when that's not here. That shouldn't be there. That's a bookcase that shouldn't be there. So, I clip that off. That rolls down. Comes out of the sides. And then I just hang whatever I'm spraying off of that hook. And that's just my spray booth. Perfect. There. Yeah, yeah. Thoughts. Have you used it a few times, have you? I've used it two or three times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's good. It's good. Yeah. It's one of the things that you think, oh, will I use it? I'm like, yeah, I do use it. Well, oh, yeah. keep walking into stuff. I'm walking backwards now. 
Yeah, I've got, I've got about three of them. A friend, friend of mine three chopped down and gave me them. Ideas? Tabletop. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to look good though, isn't it, that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On an old desk frame or something, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. It, but that's a project for... Yeah, yeah. What? When I'm a better woodworker than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, subscribe to Brett's channel to find out. <laughs> Watch this space. Vice, what's that? Paramo, uh, made in England. Yeah. Paramo, it says on there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. And you, your workbench itself, good, yeah. solid. And it's all on wheels. Look at that. So, the bandsaw, uh, the tin saw, and the bandsaw, it's all on the lathe, it's all on wheels. So yeah. Whenever I need stuff, just bring it out and put it wherever I need it. Yeah, yeah. I've just noticed where well, you've done really close to the floor, haven't you? So you're literally a few millimetres above the floor. Yeah, yeah. So if I need it solid, I just hammer a wedge underneath. Ah, of course, there. of course. But it's got so much weight in it, I bet it don't move that easy anyway. No, no. But that's a great idea, just sticking a wedge underneath, of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've seen videos where you can uh, lift the wheels up and out the way, yeah. but something like that, perfect, yeah, yeah. Solid in place. And then that table saw on the wheels. Oh, spirit level. I said, what spirit level is that? It's a kitchen fit of spirit level. Oh. I got it when I fit my kitchen in house. Uh, and I've never used it since. Worth, good name. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Might be out of sync now though. <laughs> <laughs> There's no bubble in it. Oh, there's no bubble in it. <laughs> it's the, another. The bubble's in the workshop. It's another building material, isn't it? <laughs> Find a use for it. And you, what, what was your bench saw? What mate was that? Or evolution? evolution. Yeah. yeah. What, what what do you think to it overall? I've never had any bother with it. No. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm completely happy. I'm I'm not um, a professional woodworker. No. I'm a hobbyist. Who? It's good enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't need to be cabinet maker standard. Of course. For me, it's pallet wood. It needs to do what I need it to do. Exactly. And that does what it needs to do for me. Every category at all has its place, doesn't it? Yeah. You get the cheapest drill in the world. If you're using it once a year to put some shelves up, if you're using it every day on a site, it'll be gone in the first few days. So it's well, the- that's it. For my job, I fit office furniture. So my tools at work, I've got, I bring them on a weekend. Yeah. But it's all good stuff, it's all DeWalt. Yeah. When DeWalt toolbox. Yeah. Because that's the stuff I use all the time. Yeah. And another thing is, when you go on a site, you want to look the part, because if, if you go on the site with... Who's this cowboy with his... It's, uh, it's like, yeah. Parkside yeah. tools. <laughs> when you go on site, for the first meeting, people are always suspect, especially on building sites. Yeah. They're, they're a bit wary of you. Yeah. Until they find out that... You've invested right, in it. You're not a, a knobhead. So yeah, that's right, yeah. And over a couple of days, they start getting to like you and they start talking to you about all the things that aren't work-related. And as soon as that happens, you know... You know, I wouldn't of course do. you do, of course you do, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Filing cabinet, used for all sorts oh. of chisels, hammers. Yeah. yeah, building equipments in there, plastering uh, and pointing equipment and stuff like that. Just wanted your glue, I use the same. Yeah. Brilliant stuff, that. Absolutely fantastic, 502. I actually pour that into a ah, yeah. fairly liquid dispenser. Yeah, straight out. straight out. And some huge filing cabinets there. Yeah, it's... Um, Bomb-proof. Sort of... Uh, Paints, of course, and all my uh, tree equipment in there, chainsaw, yeah. uh, element ropes, and stuff like that. Not that I'm a an arborist, I think you call them. Yeah, but I've got trees in my garden. Yeah, so I need to keep on top keep of on top of them. Yeah. Oh, I can see the decanter now for the uh, gloves. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, another little wood a, store. I say little, yeah. a huge wood store. Yeah, pallet wood. Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. And that is about it. Right, let's go have a sit down, have a quick chat, mate. Yep. So one of the questions I like to ask, and uh, I think a lot of the people that follow me as well like to know is what sort of um, feeling do you get when you work into your workshop, into your man cave or your workshop, in fact, what sort of feeling do you get? Uh, the, the stage I'm in my life, I only work five days a week now. I work Monday to Friday, seven till four. So my weekends are in this place or in my workshop. Yeah. And I absolutely love it. Yeah. I spend all my weekends in here and, and a lot of nights uh, in the summer. I spend yeah. a lot of nights in here. 
The only time they speak, seat wife is when she rings me and says, your, bre- your breakfast ready? <laughs> Press the bell. <laughs> Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. They're, I absolutely... It's just a joy. I yeah. just love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. love it. Yeah. And, and you said that this is a, a year's in progress. I mean, yeah. uh, can you see it growing any further? Can you see me... You've you put in more additions to it, or what's your sort of plans for the future? <laughs> uh, my plans for the future. Just to develop this place. There's always things... I think, yeah, there's enough in here now. And then I go, oh, no, I'll make this. And then I'm sort of thinking, where can I put this? Yeah. Where can I put it? Yeah. I sort of want to develop it further and go down into my garden. But I think, when's enough enough? Yeah. You know, I've got the, the, the man cave. I've got the workshop. It's enough now. But I just enjoy spending time in here. And I enjoy making things for it. And I enjoy thinking about things when I'm out on the road, thinking, can I try that? Whether it works or not. And it's like that process, isn't it? Where process, you, you, yeah. You're thinking about what's it's next. It's just, and I, and I think, as you get older, you need to keep your mind ticking. Yeah, over. it's dead you right. Know, you dead could right. sit in front of the telly and watch football or whatever on a Saturday. That's right. But I think no, I, you know, I get up for work at six o'clock every morning, uh, Monday to Friday. Yeah. I do the same at weekend because yeah. I, I'm like I want to be in here. You're buzzing. So, you want to so, yeah. crack on. I get up. To go to work to do something I don't particularly want to do. Mm-hmm. So why not get up at the weekend and do something I want to do? Kids and grandkids. Yeah, I've got three kids. Well, I've got four kids. Uh, I, I, I made a mistake there saying I've got three. <laughs> I've got, I've, me and my wife have got three kids. I've got a, um, a son, 31-year-old, yeah. to a previous girlfriend. Um, yeah. And then I've got, with my wife now, who I've been with for 30 years, we've got 20-year-old triplets. Triplets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's hard work. <laughs> Well, my, my wallet certainly never yeah. recovered. Let me tell you that. She, she rung. Me, I was a delivery driver at the time when they were born, and she rung me up. She said, "I hope you're sitting down because it was IVF." Yeah. And uh, I said, "Yeah, why?" She said, "Because I've been for scan. They've detected three heartbeats." And I'm like, "Right." Yeah. She says, "And they're going to be here in about three months." So it's like wow. the world just wow. turned upside down. And, yeah. But it's brilliant. Yeah. They're, they're absolutely I'm chuffed to bits of them. Yeah. They're all working or doing some form of. Yeah, yeah. They're not doing drugs. Let's put no, it. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> and, that's, and that's the main lot, thing. That's all you can ask for in this day of life. <laughs> exactly. And the thing, joy of something like this, when they were younger as well, it's a place where they can hang out with, the, with yeah. their mates, I suppose. Well, like I said, probably five years this has been ongoing. So mm-hmm. they've had all the birthdays in there from being fifteen year old. Mm-hmm. So we went into higher places. Of course, yeah. yeah. And why not? Why would you? Yeah, yeah they're just to hire somewhere that's like this, a theme yeah. bar, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, and then you yeah. know, as, as they go, go on with boyfriends and girlfriends, it's like, oh, dad, can we go at the bar tonight? Yeah. So I will just put fire on for them yeah. and just leave them to clear it. up after yourself. Yeah, clear yeah. up after yourself. Yeah, that's they it. obviously demolish this lot nowadays because they're old enough. You got to mar- drink. little markers. You need to put little yeah. markers on there. I, I just let them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Let them get on with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I know where they are. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I'm the same. I built it, and not just for me, my man cave, but yeah. for for the family as well. When we have parties and events and watching sports or, and friends as oh, well, of course, when they come round. It's... Absolutely. I think having this place for me in a weekend, yeah, it's brilliant. But what's having this if you can't share it? With exactly. Your family and friends. That's it. And the price to go out and buy. A pint of beer at pub at five, six pound, whatever it is. Mm. You know, you can get a bottle of Bud for fifty pence at supermarket. That's it. And it's just sharing this, and and I, I love to share this with people. I just love it. You mentioned five years ago, roundabouts. I take it then you just about built it or we had it ready when it was COVID. Yes. So COVID, yeah. as many of us know, we were all trapped in our homes. We couldn't go to the pub, couldn't yeah. go to the restaurants, whatever. <laughs> our back gardens were our sanctuary, weren't yeah. they? I always remember the one day I just about finished this. Mm. and um, we are all locked in like, as you are mm. and me and my wife uh, shower, change, got ready to go out yeah. and I told kids get ready because we're going somewhere special tonight yeah, yeah, yeah. so I made them get the kit on and thought oh, where we're going, where we're going we can't go anywhere, it's locked down open garage up I said we're going in garage <laughs> and we had a night in here and it's before I knocked that wall down so yeah. it was just this part Yeah. and do you know what a night what a night we had I bet and, and it was just great I bet and do you know what sometimes there's sp- spontaneity yeah if you have someone round for drinks, and they'll all go over to the shed, and it turns out to be the best night. And of course, playing pool, downtime. I reckon you could even get a table tennis table in here, couldn't you? you oh, probably could, yeah. yeah. I, I could have a table tennis table on top of that. I of course. could design one and fit it to the top of that, of course. to be honest. Of course, Easy yeah. enough, that's an idea. Of yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll come and play you. I, I know, I remember uh, during lockdown, I had, because I, I were doing like, like essential work, I were kicking out all these Nightingale hospitals with beds and lockers. Oh, and really, stuff, yeah, so, yeah. So I did a lot of work in that. Yeah. But I actually had... 31 days off work during the whole time of, of COVID. 
And I always used to refer to it as my month of Sundays. Of because it was like, it was, it was beautiful weather. I had nothing to do. I didn't have a wage to earn. Yeah. And I just, I got caught up on so many things. Mm -hmm. uh, and they would not all say never in a month of Sundays. So I always called COVID my month of Sundays. Yeah. So looking around now, look at all the little projects you've done and all the little intricate details. But what would you say is the most satisfying or the most, uh, the biggest accomplishment, would you say? Um, I... I think looking at it all, I, the whole thing is 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 brilliant. Mm. It's a great accomplishment. I love it. And don't get me wrong, I know how lucky I am to have this space because I know that kids buying houses now, they're not going to get this kind of house and space mm. to, to do what they need to mm. do. It. So yeah, the whole thing is, I love it. I've got this and I've got the workshop. But if, if, we, if we had to go into small things, what do I like most? I think one of my favourite things I've ever made is the coffin ah, with, with yeah. the... Uh, the nails that yep. do the Tommy Soldier. I yep. just think that is artistically it turned out a lot better than I thought. Yeah, it I love it. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. It's, uh, as soon as you come through that door as well, it's the yeah. first thing you see. It's, I, I really like it. A lot of people mention that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that that's one of my favourites. And and the, I knew you were going to ask me this question. Oh, go on. The, the other thing I like, and it's so simple, but I made this out of a canister. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. yeah. It took me four attempts to get it right. Yeah. But now I've got it right. I know what I'm doing. So I can make that in a couple of hours, maybe. I split it. I split it down the middle because I wanted to keep the the lip on yeah. each side there. Yeah. Um, and then I cut the sides off. Yeah. So I could work with it. I cut it thin there. Yeah. Put it in the vise and put some round wood at each side. Bent it out, and then that's just a piece of old oak. I drilled through the sides. Copper wire. The copper wire is just to stop the wood splitting when I put the screws in. Of course. It probably doesn't need it. But it looks good. But, it, it, but I thought it'll look good anyway. It does. Industrial, so, yeah. retro, yeah. Um, what's it called? Industrial steampunk. Yeah, yeah. The sort steampunk, of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the hook on top is just another slice of canister with a little bit cut out. Drilled a hole in it. Brilliant. Nut and bolt through there. Love it. And that, to me, who'd have thought? A gas canister caught on a. But where does that, see this design thing, where does that come from? You didn't, I know you once have sat down on a bit of paper and gone, oh, no. well, how can I make a coat hanger? That's evolved. That's yeah. evolved from yeah. something has sparked your imagination and thought, what if? Yeah. And how can I? Pro I, I don't honestly know where it came from. I'd probably just thought, well, what if I split that down and bend the sides out? Oh, that yeah. looks like a coat hanger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll make a coat hanger. I did the similar thing with a back scratcher. I don't know if you saw that. No, I didn't, but that's a great... Yeah, another... I can yeah. see it now. I can imagine it now. Just a back yeah. scratcher on yeah. a piece of wood. I yeah. can get it. Do you want me yeah. to get it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> it's, yeah, just... yeah. It looks like it's cast. Yeah, it That's the thing. It looks like yeah. it's a cast piece. Yeah. It's literally just one part of that. Of course it is. The fingers, and then it's just... Do you know what you need to do when you've done all this? When you've mm -hmm. made... What are you up to now? How many different things? I can think of one, two, the, three... Uh, about ten. Ten. Yeah. How many, how many, what is the limit? You've got to get up to 100, haven't you? I can get to 100. You bring out a book. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 these canisters are still floating around everywhere. They're obviously going to scrap yards <clears> as well. Yeah. You can find 100 uses, or 100, 20 uses. Write a book. Oh, just, I've got, what I do at night, I've got a book outside of my bed. Do you? And uh, I just draw little pictures in sometimes. If I think of things, I'm like, before I forget. Before I forget it. Write it down, like I did. Right, I can make a coat hanger out of that. Coat hanger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do, do a rough thing. Yeah. And that's what it came from. But that's from playing around with it, feeling it tactile. Yeah. and yeah. It just it expands the imagination, doesn't it? I love that. That's that, brilliant. That will be because my wife had one of these cheap pound shop scratches. Yeah, of course. She would control herself into all... It was the pen, a pen size. Yeah. And, she's, and I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm trying to scratch my back. Yeah. So I said, give us it here. And I pulled it out. And yeah. she went, oh, I didn't know it did that. <laughs> We had it five years, <laughs> yeah. But as it as it pulled out, it got flimsier and flimsier. I said, "I'll make you a batch." That's, that's, that's going to draw blood. An elephant with draw blood with that. <laughs> yeah. I love it. No, you need to write a book, definitely, definitely. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that have made something like this or thinking of building something like this. What's your advice to if anyone wants to and they've got this idea, they want to build a man cave similar to this, maybe smaller, maybe a lot smaller. How would you start? Just to start. Just start. It's as simple as that. Just just start. Even if you don't know what you're doing, strip a pallet down, all the bit of wood together and think, how can I join this together? Right, I can do that. How can I make it bigger? Right, I can do that. How can I put a door on? Right, I'll do it. Just start. That's mm. all I'd say. Find find something in a skip. 
take it out and go, what can I make with that? Mm -hmm. I've got a video coming out shortly that is, you know, the, the recycling tubs, newspapers and just yes. the little black things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found one the, the other day mm -hmm. with the bottom all smashed in, mm -hmm. uh, all knackered, and I pulled, took it out of a skip. And I've got some I'm gonna make out of that. Yeah, yeah. You've got an idea for it. I've already. got an idea for it. Yeah. And it's it's so simple, but yeah. it, it's something I need. Yeah. Uh, and it's something I'm gonna make probably next week. And this is the I suppose something like that, something you need as well. Yeah. There's the artistic side and then yeah. there's the, the, the yeah. sort of like you you cough in there. Obviously it serves a purpose, but yeah. the artistic front, the aesthetics, and then something that could be used as well. When you can make something like that that you can be used <clears> it's decorative. Oh you could have them hanging on a wall. Oh, with nothing on them, yeah. because it's the, the, the design, the beauty yeah. in the design, and the practicality of it as well. So, Brett, for that, well done, mate. <laughs> and thanks for so much for coming over and seeing you today. Thank, thanks it's for been, coming. It's yeah. been amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely been amazing. Yeah. Oh, just explain <laughs> this, what you just showed me. <laughs> right, 20 years ago, my wife gave birth to triplets. And, uh, you know, young family struggling for money and stuff like that. So I thought, what can I get her? Uh, I don't want to get her flowers and chocolates. Um, I thought, well, I'll get her a book, because uh, she likes reading. And I thought, well, I'll just get her a book that says I love you all the way through it. So I looked on the internet, couldn't find one. So I thought, well, I'll just have a go at writing it myself. So I basically I did, I wrote this book. Uh, I called it A Million Times, I Love You. And uh, that is all it says all the way through it. it look just, at that. It just says look I love at that. you. But, but the party trick is gone. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't fit it in a million times. So what I had to do, I had to make the font get smaller. Every chapter, the font drops down a little bit. So you can see it there getting smaller and smaller. It's going for your eyesight, until isn't it? This, it. Until, until this. And that is and actually this, says this, it, but. This, you have to read that with, with a magnifying glass. But it says I love you all the way through it. And it's actually got 90% of the I love you's in the last chapter. Yeah, really? That, that's how many a million times oh. is. A million times, and you said it once an hour. It take you 114 years. You've worked that out, have you? You've worked it out. 114 years, three months, and a couple of days. <laughs> so That's look, how sad I can be. Uh, no, but I'd say true romantic. <laughs> look, if you want to buy one of these, I'm sure <laughs> Brett would sell you one. Um, I've got some rare unsigned copies somewhere as well. Oh, have you? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure he'll sign every one anyway. <laughs> Are you, you, how do you get in contact? Should we just go on YouTube? Just go on YouTube. You go on YouTube, use this to useful, check, check that out. They, they were good for Valentine's presents and uh, the, the first anniversary of a marriage is paper anniversary. Yeah, so of course. I, I actually sold oh, 2,500 yeah. of them. I bet, yeah. Uh, people were buying them, to put, them yeah, to put them in coffins and stuff like that. Oh, wow. And wow. I, I, so I own the format for, yeah. repeating, for saying something, repeating it a million times. Because I've, I've all. Also, would have had I'm sorry and thank you a million times. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. brilliant. 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 Yeah. If you want to do something for your wife, husband, girlfriend, whatever, buy this book. <laughs> Cheers, Brett. <laughs> right, I'm going to quickly show you just down at the bottom there because it's got a nice little ru river running by. And um, yeah, then we'll leave it at that. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Cheers. Cheers.